Hey guys, so this video is about advice you need to hear. Or something. So the way a lot of times these video concepts go with me is I come up with an idea, I think it's really great, and then by the next day or the next week when I'm actually about to film it, I'm like, no, that idea was stupid. Or I have kind of no authority to make this video. But I mean, the friggin' billionaire matchmaker woman, she's still single even though she's like giving advice to people on how to get in relationships. Donald Trump was head of Apprentice and telling people how to run a business well, but he's gone bankrupt more than once and is in general just a joke. <laughs> Didn't like Britney Spears' mom almost release a book about parenting right around the time when Jamie Lynn had gotten pregnant and Britney Spears was shaving her head. Not at all trying to say she's not a good mother, but just saying that, you know, we can have lots of knowledge despite not always being able to actualize it in our lives. And while that's part of the reason I don't want to make advice videos, the other one is because I just feel like my ideas are very stupid or, um, you know, this big realization to me in my mid-twenties, I feel like, oh god, there must be like teenagers who just know this stuff. But a lot of times I also know this stuff, but I just feel like maybe I'm rediscovering it again and it just inspires me or, you know, something. Anyways, that's a big long preface of please don't take this too seriously or I don't know something. But anyways, here we go. So one thing I've realized is that I set up a lot of obstacles that aren't really obstacles in terms of doing things that I want to do. So for example, um, we got a piano, or my sister's piano, to take care of, and I was practicing it now and then, but it was difficult because my boyfriend and I are on very different sleeping schedules sometimes, so he's sleeping and I don't want to disturb him while he's sleeping. Or his computer is right next to the piano, so I don't want to play piano if he's going to be playing some game or watching some TV show because, again, I don't want to disturb him. And now about a week ago, we got some headphones from my sister that I can use while playing the piano so I don't have to disturb anyone. And then yesterday, I'm sitting in the living room and I just look at the piano and I'm like, we've had the earphones for almost a week and I haven't touched the piano once. And like, in that moment I was staring at the piano, I'm like, why am I not getting up to play the piano right now? And so, I feel a bit bad that for like ages I was kind of using my boyfriend as this excuse of why I can't play piano. And kind of like, you know, not resenting him because that's just not how I felt. I didn't feel resentful, I just felt kind of like, oh I can't do this because of him. It's the same when we used to live in a small apartment, I used to think, I can't film videos. If we had another room, I could totally film videos. Then we got a bigger apartment with another room, and I'm like, ah, you can still hear me, I can't film videos. These kinds of things where now and then I do overcome these obstacles, and I just do it anyway. So I'm like, honey, you know, it's gonna calm, honey. What was that? Or I'm just like, do you mind if I play piano for 30 minutes? And he's like, yeah, sure, of course. Um, so there are times when I call myself out on my own bullshit, but yesterday I just had this big realization that there are so many things that I just make up these excuses or just these things of why it's difficult to do. It's um, like with biking to work. I've gotten really good this summer. I love biking to work. I prefer it to taking the bus. But last summer when I did it the first time, there were a lot of days where I was like, hmm, well, you know, it looks like it's gonna rain. Yeah, it looks a bit too windy today. And sometimes there are legit excuses um, or reasons that just make it not fun. So I shouldn't put myself through biking if it's not fun because I'm more likely to keep doing it if it's fun. But I just feel like all of us need to be more critical of our own obstacles that we put in front of us and just, you know, decide obstacle or excuse. And yeah, that's my big like my blown revelation that I had and I mean I've had this before numerous times but I'm hoping maybe by putting it into a video and saying the words that I will not be such a lazy person um 
in a way it's kind of sad when you realize that's just you stopping yourself from doing things. Like the piano, I enjoy it, but yes, it does feel like a chore a bit, where it's, you know, practicing piano, I'm not that great at it, so it's not always fun. Um, making videos, really fun, but I don't know, I just prefer when the video is done or something. Or it's like, I have to think about what I'm going to say, so it's more work. Like now where I just turn the camera on, I'm like, I'm just going to do this because obstacles, excuses. But yeah, I guess my point is just examine the things that you want to do in your life and look at what is holding you back and just see, like, are these things that are holding you back just excuses or actual obstacles? And if they are obstacles, you know, how can you overcome them? Um, there are a million ways I could have overcome the piano obstacle even without headphones. Or hell, I could have gone to the shop and bought headphones if it mattered to me that much. God, it's so sad to realize that you're like your own worst enemy and things, but I think it's really good as well. My dog's over there. So I keep looking there. She's so cute. Okay, but hopefully I haven't been rambling for too long, so this won't be hellish to edit and be another obstacle excuse for me to not get it up soon. Uh, I don't know. This is probably really stupid and very duh, but um, like I said, just putting words out there to try to actualize them in my life, and maybe it'll inspire someone else. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, hit the like button if you liked it, and please comment down below if you have anything to add. And yeah, bye. You okay, Pixie?